see, if you look categorically, man, this is how ignorant our people are, especially today. You know, a lot of young people fuck with me, man. I fuck with a lot of young people because, you know, they're creative and their minds are open. Um, so you got these old motherfuckers um, right here in Verona, slave minded, you know, living off the Willie Lynch theory. You know, the Willie Lynch theory says put the old against the young, the tall against the short. These niggas is fucking Willie Lynch, like, henchmen. You know what I'm saying? All they believe in is divide and conquer. And there's a lot of bit of that been going on in our family. Um, you know, uh, the whole time I've been, you know, part of this family has been divide and conquer. You know, we have Christmas dinner and shit. And, you know, my mama said, well, we're only inviting your daddy's side of the family. You know what I'm saying? My side of the family ain't coming. What, what is this divide for? That's that Willie Lynch theory. Divide and conquer. Um... Sigmas and Deltas and all that shit is divide and conquer, man. Um, but if you look at it categorically, right? Look at the shit categorically. Um, that's all it is. You know, and then you got these motherfuckers saying, because young people fuck with me and I fuck with young people. They don't be spinning out of that shit. They just come fuck with me because I'm a real ass nigga. But... You know, you got, you got motherfuckers out here who speak about biblical principles. And there's always the Christians that do this shit. You got people out here who speak biblical principles but don't follow. You know, the biblical principles say it takes a village to raise a child. You know, if you look at Africa, you look at anywhere, any community, especially white community, you see older people with young, you see kids with grandkids. I mean, with grandparents or grandparent ages. You see the Boys and Girls Club or the Big Brothers Mentorship. You know, all of that is promoted. However, when that nigga is black, you know what I'm saying? The black motherfuckers gonna hit him. Oh, he with kids, he must be fucking them. No, he just a real ass niggas and kids can identify with him. But see, when you black, man, that, that, that is, that's what it is. You know, black people thrive off of turning other black people down. It's the Willie Lynch syndrome. Read that letter, man. Read that Willie Lynch letter, man. It will describe to you these niggas. And the people who are the worst... Is the older people, like the people in their seventies, the traditionalists, these people are really living slaves, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so divided. Like, the separation is so real. You know what I'm saying? Like, my mother, my father, I ain't never seen them kiss, never seen them hug, never seen them tell nobody they love them. Always grew up in a house of fucking hatred. How can you show love or, or tell somebody? Or, you know, expect somebody to love somebody else. When you don't have the shit in your heart, not even in your heart, in your fucking house. Nigga, how can you be married to somebody for 50 years and never hug them in front of your children? You've never shown them love. But then you got every other excuse about everything else. You don't need no love, bro. At all. That's fucking crazy. I ain't never seen my mama, my sister, none of them motherfuckers, they do, do not tell people they love them, they don't hug motherfuckers, or none of that shit, everything they got to say about a nigga is negative, they don't even use the word love, but they use hate, they use disrespect, they use all the motherfucking words, they never use the word love, they never show love, they never show emotion, it's all fucking negative, you can say, I'm, well he hating, no, I'm being real, you ask anybody that know them, Nobody's ever seen them kiss. I don't even know if I seen them kiss on their wedding pictures. That's fucking crazy. How you gonna be married to a woman and don't tell her I love you? Don't kiss her. Don't hold her hand. Don't spend time with her and shit like that. Come on, man. It's divide and conquer, man. Uh, we gonna have dinner tonight. But only my main side of the family is invited. Our side of it. What the fuck is that? <laughs> divide and conquer. You feel me? All of them are working class people. I'm an entrepreneur. They won't support a black entrepreneur, but they'll go out here and buy polo shit. And you know, they'll be like, you don't do nothing but uh, sew patches on shirts. Polo ain't, don't even do that. But y'all give him all your fucking money because he's white. See, these niggas are ignorant as a motherfucker, man. That's why the black community is so separated. They won't spend no money in the black community. They take all their money to the white community and then wonder why the black community struggles. Money never comes back. But these niggas are ignorant, man. You cannot expect an ignorant nigga to have any fucking common sense, bro. 
in it. These niggas are ignorant. It's all divide and conquer. It's just built to tear a nigga down. They do not want to see nobody prosper but themselves. That's it. These niggas are ignorant. And it's the Willie Lynch syndrome. syndrome. It's divine. That nigga said it. He said, man, these effects will go on. He said, man, I've been successful with this shit. This shit will go on the last 300 years, if not thousands. And he was right, man. Niggas have no con They don't even want to help each other. All they want to do is lie, cheat, and, and then lie. Oh, my God. These people, man, are the biggest fucking lies I've ever seen in my life. And, they, they, and the thing about it is they have no... They have no... <clears throat> They don't give a fuck about lying, basically. Like they they lie and they know it's a fucking lie. And these people are so fucking ignorant, like 